Yesterday was June 30th, which means today is July 1. It's a new month, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit more today about this thing called time. Yesterday, we were in Psalm 39, verses 4 and 5, where the psalmist was talking all about how short life really is. Yesterday, I said to you that when you're up against a deadline, you don't just get more things done, you get the right things done. The psalm helps us understand and address one of the great problems in our lives. The psalmist is suggesting that people aren't thinking about time, so they're using their time in the wrong way. Listen to what he says in Psalm 39, verse 6, the very next verse. He said, Surely everyone goes around like a mere phantom. In vain they rush about, heaping up wealth without knowing whose it will finally be. Jesus practically said the exact same thing in the New Testament. Luke chapter 12, verse 15, he said, Watch out, be on your guard against all kinds of greed, for life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. We hear these words, and yet so many of us spend our days and maybe even our nights chasing after wealth. Even country music star Eric Church sings a song about the woman of his dreams who's more interested in chasing life than dollar bills. That's what I'm talking about, chasing life, the abundant life that Jesus came to give. At the end of Luke chapter 12, Jesus said this. He said, seek first his kingdom, and then all of these things will be given to you as well. That's where our focus should be. Now, listen, I don't want a bunch of people to listen to the loop today and then they run into work and quit their jobs. But I do want you to listen to the loop and maybe read Luke chapter 12 and then talk to God and your family about what your priorities are and what your priorities should be. If there needs to be a change, I pray that God will give you the courage to make that change.